Why is supporting Cornwall Mind and the auction important to you? Uh, several reasons. I mean, first of all, um, organisations supporting mental health issues are very close to my heart for a variety of reasons. I've been in a position to give help to my family and my parents and some friends, and I'm sure people up and down the country have done the same thing, all of us helping each other to get through a really difficult time. Um, it seemed like a small thing to do, really, to pick up a canvas and do a painting because I hadn't done one for a long time. So obviously, I know that you're a very keen gardener. So do you think that gardening and being in nature has a positive impact on mental health? Definitely. I think gardening for me was certainly one of the, re uh, you know, my mental health was certainly what drove me into the garden. One, one of the, big, the powerful reasons, not entirely that, but um, it did save me a fortune on on therapists, I'm sure, uh, during a, a time in my life where it, I did, I was finding it quite tricky balancing being Kim Smith as I was before I got married or became famous and Kim Wilde. Uh, and the two of them did start to kind of grate on each other. And I did find myself just naturally uh, in the garden uh, as a, and it seemed to be calling me. It was the one place where I could really feel, feel close to myself quite apart from the planet. Um, and that, you know, you can buy these signs which says you can hang on your front door and it says, you can, you can find me in the garden. And I, I, ju I just changed the you and I just say, I, I can find me in the garden. And um, so, yes, it's been a great, a great mental health th therapy for me of being a gardener. And it's been one of the most powerful tools that I've used uh, during this pandemic uh, lockdown period. So do you think that the pandemic has affected your mental health in any way or other people's? Oh my gosh yes I mean in so many ways um, not all negative but many negative it's been a really t terrible time for a lot of people um, it's, it's also been a really um, I think a, a great time to sort of I guess smell the roses um, you know, just kind of stop for a while, get off the, the merry-go-round if you were on one. Um, yeah, so I think a reckoning with oneself, I think has happened for a great many people, but there's been a terrible amount of heartache and loneliness and confusion and, and uh, fear. So it's, all, it's been all mixed up together uh, in, a, in a really, I think ultimately it will be a really, there will be a great, outpouring like a great renaissance that will emerge from this time of great music and great art and, and uh, great literature and great theatre and um, just a, a real outpouring of creative energy um, which I'm, I'm sure will come from it. How do you think young people have been affected by the pandemic? I think particularly hard in, in many ways you know with the education got so mixed up for a lot of people with their a-levels and their, and their exams these are really important milestones in young people's lives and then the much younger children I think but find it impossible to understand why they can't hug their little four-year-old mate or their five-year-old friend um, so goodness knows really what the long-term um, you know, repercussions will, will, will be from that for, for young children and having relationships, forming relationships, um, understanding people. Um, yeah, so I think probably, you know, the, the future, the next few decades is going to be a real, a really important time for mental health charities. There's going to be a great call for a lot of people to, um, to look after and to help people get through this experience one way or another. Did you enjoy doing your piece of art and did you find it therapeutic in any way when you were doing it? Oh, totally, yes. I've been trying to do some painting for a while, but my I was sort of painting in the garden, so I was doing a lot of work out there. I, I, I have to tell you, my garden has never looked as immaculate as it does now. I literally have to walk around the garden looking for weeds. It's, it's a miracle. And um, so just to get me out of the garden, now I love painting. I'm an old art student from way back. So yeah, it was, uh, I just thought, great. It's, I've got a, a deadline here. I've got a really important cause. I'm gonna really enjoy this. And since then I've done more painting. So it's, it's got me back into painting. I've got more paints, I've got more brushes, I've got more canvases, um, I've got them all set up here. I've got a little one here that I'm just 
starting. <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah. So, I'm, um, I'm really, really glad to get back, um, back into painting again. It's, re it really helps calm my mind. It's a great one. Have you seen any particular pieces of art in the auction that have caught your eye? There was Alistair Lindsay, who has done one of a surfer and a lifeguard hut. Now, I did a painting of a surfer who, who happened to be my son. And um, I rather like the look of that one. I love the simplicity of it. And it just reminds me of Cornwall a lot. And I love to be reminded of Cornwall. So I've only been a few times, but I absolutely love it. And um, so it, it just really felt it really captured that feeling of Cornwall for me. There's a beautiful um, watercolour by Marley Jackson. That I've got my eye on called Mizzle and Tin. I just love that. It looks beautiful. So um, yes, I'll be putting in a few bids on some of the paintings. I'm really excited about that. My daughter Rose is just starting university uh, studying psychology and she wants to be uh, a mental health therapist. So yes, she's just about to get involved in, in that. And I know that she, she will bring a lot of her own personal experience to it and be um, a, a, a leading light for people who need her.